in Africa. That goes to show who we are as a country. That goes to show what we can achieve as a country. That goes to demonstrate the number and size may not matter. What matters, what really matters is the people, the people of that country. And as a people, we've gone through a lot together where we've shown resilience and we've shown togetherness and we have shown to the entire world that we are a people of peace and we are a peace loving nation. And that gave birth to what we've been regarded as the smiling coast of Africa. Not only West Africa, but Africa. When that phrase, the smiling coast of Africa, or our sentence, pronounced anywhere, the reference is the Gambia. And this, for some of us who are always on social media, especially the Facebook and the YouTube, the TikToks of recent, we came across a lot of instances where we are referenced as the smiling coast of Africa. And that reference is upon every one of us. It's our responsibility as Gambian, but more importantly, as security officers, as agents of security in this nation, to maintain, to uphold. That's our responsibility. And that responsibility is tested now. It's tested for the fact that we will be receiving heads of stations, heads of nations. And DJ, we now witness the arrival of the ambassador. Can we stand in honor of the arrival, please? Thank you very much. Um, good morning, Deputy Inspector General of Police. The talk is Ambassador. General Rujaone on behalf of the CBS. Police General. The Assistant Inspector General of Police. 
the police advisor, the commissioner for police intervention unit, as our host here this morning, the commissioner for international affairs, senior officers of Turkey's Zender Mary, senior officers of the Gambia Police Force, senior officers of the Gambia Armed Forces, representative of the OIC, head of communications, all the officers here present and all invited guests. And to my colleagues, the media and fellow officers, good morning to you all. Before we get to the program proper, I would want us to take this opportunity to have our individual prayers. One minute in your one minute. Observe our individual prayers, please. Amen. I want to take this opportunity on behalf of the Gambia Police Force. I am your moderator, Hidden Assistant Superintendent of Police, Deputy PR of the Gambia Police Force. We are here gathered today, this morning, to witness a very significant occasion in the history of the Gambia Police Force, but by extension in the history of the Gambia as a nation. It can be recalled that a few months ago, the head of the Special Forces of Turkey, Zagar Mary, visited the Gambia Police Force. And one of the issues discussed is the reason for us here today that the provision of special training to the Gambia Police Force. On that note, we are here to celebrate the conclusion or the successful completion of the training. So as the moderator, I wouldn't have long to do, but first to go to the program guide and welcome our first speaker. The program will go as follows. We have the first speaker, our host, Commissioner of Police Intervention Unit. Then we have a statement by the Turkish Ambassador. Then we have a statement by the lead train, the trainer. Then presentation of certificates and gifts, I was informed. Then we have a statement, a vote of thanks by one of the trainees. And finally, we have the Deputy Inspector General of Police, Momo to make a statement. On that note, at this point, I would want to invite the Commissioner for Police Intervention Unit to give a welcoming remark. Commissioner, please. Good morning, Your Excellency, the Honorable Ambassador of Turkey to the Gambia. Good morning, Deputy Inspector General of Police, everyone representing the Inspector General of Police. Good morning, the Police Advisor. Good morning, Brigadier General representing the CDS. Good morning, AIG Operation. Good morning, the senior officers from the Turkish Gendarmerie and the military. Good morning to Mr. Padera of the OIC. Good morning to 
all senior officers here present. Good morning to the media and the course participants. Good morning to you all. It gives me the immense pleasure welcoming all of you on the closing and award ceremony of dosing of security officers, mainly PI officers, SIS, GAF, and the State Guard, which marks not just the end of the rigorous period of learning, but also the beginning of a new chapter in collective pursuit of safety and security. Today, the PIU has reached the highest of great success. It was established with a vision to serve the society with quality. Since 2017, the Gambia Police Force has undergone lots of society, lots of reform programs and training, and PIU have benefited from all of this. The significance of the day is remarkable as 180 security personnel, which consists of four bodies, underwent an intensive 12 weeks, each three weeks of continuous training, ranging from protection on food techniques, protection on vehicle techniques, protection principle and responsibilities, preparation and planning for VIP protection duties, room and building clearing techniques, approaches on building techniques, and a lot more. To you, the trainees, as you stand on the threshold of this chapter, don't forget your solemn responsibilities and rules. Each of you are being entrusted with the safety and security of your fellow citizens with utmost seriousness and dedication. The skills and knowledge that you have acquired during this training will be invaluable asset in fulfilling these responsibilities, enabling you to respond effectively in every threat and challenges. As trainees, you are now bear the responsibility of passing your knowledge and expertise to your colleagues ensuring that the benefit of these trainings are felt. I believe our men are ready to deliver any task given to them. We cannot ignore the fact that we are constrained for thanks to the Turkish government, especially the Zendermori General, for giving us the patient and skillful trainings to attain our goals. They have dedicated three months educating and also and so trainers are motivated. I have to commend the entire police senior management and the following for their endless effort towards the success of the training. Finance was very supportive to most of the needs, especially in the upkeep of the topic's training. We, we also want to recognize the immense support we received from the Gambia Police Credit Union and their entire staff. Also not forgetting the, the Motor Traffic Office for always providing us with the needed vehicle to conduct this training. Finally, I wish to recognize the present only guests who, due to their busy schedule, decided to forego and attend our call to this important ceremony. I wish to specially thank our Turkish trainers, Hakan, Akin, Fatih, and Ismail, and also the our liaison officer, DS Sar. Finally, I wish to welcome you all and thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Commissioner Basenge, for the wonderful welcoming remark, having highlighted uh, some of the process 
sister has taken place or has led us to this joyous day of celebration or celebrating the achievement that has been made. But like in Wellington, that would have been possible without the support from the leadership, recognizing that, and also the practice government. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, at this point, I want to um, invite the lead trainee uh, instead of uh, the ambassador lead trainee first to give us a highlight of the training moment. Lieutenant Halkan Pede, uh, permission, sir. Uh, good morning, His Excellency Ambassador of the Republic of Turkey. Uh, DIG Mamadou So, good morning, sir. And Police Edward, sir, uh, Tamsir, uh, Jassi, good morning, sir. Uh, and Good morning, uh, Councillor of the Ministry of Interior of the Republic of Turkey, Gendarmerie Colonel. And uh, good morning, uh, Turkish Military Advisor, Infantry Staff Colonel. And uh, distinguished guests, dear trainees, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure for me to address all the distinguished guests and the trainees who have successfully completed the trainees. We are not the first gendarmerie personnel to come to Gambia. Relations between the Gambia and the Turkish gendarmerie started in the 1990s. For many years, Turkish gendarmerie training teams have served in, in the Gambia. With the end of the Gambian gendarmerie's mission, the assignment of gendarmerie training teams from Turkey also came to an end. We have seen the positive crisis led by the Turkish Gendarmerie personnel who served in Gambia before us and we are pleased with this. Our countries, cultures and laws are different. The Gambia Police Force and the Gendarmerie General Command of the Republic of Turkey are two different law enforcement organizations. However, the vision of the police and Gendarmerie is the same everywhere in the world. This vision is to be an exemplary law enforcement organization that provides reputable, reliable, and quality service in the national and international area. Since uh, we arrived in the Gambia on 19 December 2023, we have conducted two training terms of VIP protection training, one training term of VIP protection instructor training, and two training terms of special operation in urban areas, training activities. We try to transfer our experiences to the personnel of the friendly Gambian country. I'm sure that the personnel who successfully complete the training with disciplined work will be helpful to the Gambia Police Force, the Gambia Armed Force, and the State Intelligence Service. It should not be forgotten that Training is an ongoing process. Knowledge and skills need to be reinforced and developed through continuous training. For this reason, it is of great importance that the personnel who have completed their training follow the current developments in the world and constantly update themselves. Today, we are happy because as the Turkish Gendarmerie, we have developed our relations with the Gambia Police Force and Police Intervention Unit. We have made new friends in the Gambia and strengthened the bonds of friendship between us. We have also said that we will leave from the Gambia in a short time. I would like to thank all the authorities and staff, especially the Gambia Police Force, the Police Intervention Unit and the Embassy of the Republic of Turkey who have provided us with all kinds of facilities and made us feel at home uh, since today we are back in the Gambia. We firmly believe that the relations between the Gambia Police Force and the Gendarmerie of Republic of Turkey will continue to strengthen. 
I wish to personally work to Gambia Police Force, the Gambia Armed Force, and State Intelligence Service, in particular, success in their future duties. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Lead train, trainer of the uh, Turkish training, uh, having highlighted the historic um, that between the Gambia and Turkey is not the first time, and I'm sure this will be the last time. And some of the training that I had offered. And uh, thank you so very much uh, for appreciating our hospitality, and uh, also highlighting the, the fact that the trainees were fit enough and good enough, and that wishing them uh, all the best in executing those things that have been learned. Thank you very much. Uh, at this point, I would want to invite His Excellency the Ambassador to give a statement. Deputy IGP, uh, General, <laughs> Commissioner, uh, Secretary General, Excellencies, dear colleagues, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure and honor for me to be present today and address distinguished guests and participants at the PIU camp in Kanifing for the closing ceremony of this training organized by the Turkish Gendarmerie for Gambia Police Force, Gambia Armed Force, and SIS personnel. I would like to sincerely thank the Turkish Gendarmerie for planning this training. The hospitality extended to our personnel by the Gambian side was exemplary. We sincerely thank you. During my exchanges with our Gendarmerie team and Council for Internal Affairs, I was very happy to learn about the professionalism of participants. Apart from technical aspects, these activities also allow sites to interact and learn about the culture of the other, hence create solid working relationship and friendship. The Gambia will soon host the OIC summit. Needless to say, security is and will be one of the most important components for the success of this international event. The training undertaken by 189 staff will certainly help your authorities during this event, but also afterwards. Turkey, with its different institutions, is present on the field and working with your authorities in order to support this great country and people. During recent years, we had extensive cooperation with the Gambia. I am sure this momentum will continue in the months and years ahead of us. Taking this opportunity, I would like once more to thank participants of this training and trainers of the Turkish Gendarmerie. Last but not least, I would like to commend the efforts of the Gambian authorities and its people undertaken at every level for making sure that this summit is a success. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Excellency Ambassador, for recognizing the need for security as far as the OIC is concerned. Uh, thank you very much for the wonderful speech. Uh, at this point, I would want to, um, with what we still we will have to present certificates to the participants. So we will begin with the TOT. Yes, we sir. Thank you. 
we would want to um, invite the colonel, the colonel to present the certificate. One of the central colonel messages. May I escape? I can escape this.
the, the next three would be uh, from the VIP first batch, the best three outstanding for the VIP protection first batch. I would want to call on the police advisor to hand in the certificate. I have Maran S.K. Makam Eskeba. Thank you. Okay. As outstanding. Together with Together with Ajit Sir for outstanding. For outstanding performance. For the trainers. Thank you. Then we have Musa Ajiba. VIP protection training. And also then we have Modu Juf. Modu Juf is an outstanding VIP protection. Also with a gift. Thank you very much. Police advisor, thank you very much. We want to call on General Trojani to present the following certificates. Please, General. Second by by VIP protection, the first three outstanding trainees, Dudu Seidi.
Vincent Lévy, de Vestry, spécial catholique, de Vestry, is the second. Thank you very much. You have four days down me. Four days down me. Special operation, the best thing. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Um, it is put to my attention that the GIF or the GIFs or the trainers are from the participants. Yes, a round of applause. That is the GIP company and the Delta company as a show of appreciation to the trainers for having to make them acquire the required skills in those special areas. And they are saying a big thank you for the pieces that you have demonstrated during the period. Because it's training. And I know, we all know, we all want to be training. So we are thanking you. Thank you very much. We proceed with the program. And at this moment, I would want to invite the trainee to give a vote of thanks. And that is the assistant superintendent of the police force, Delta Company, FDA Gallo. His Excellency, the Turkish Ambassador to the Gambia, Deputy Inspector General of Police, AIG Operations, Advisor to the Police, Commissioner, Police Intervention Unit, Instructors from the Tokyo Zandamoni, Men, of the Gambia Police Force and other senior officers here in present, good morning to you all. It is indeed an honor and privilege for me to be before this auspicious gathering today. Words would be enough to describe how pleased I am. Thus, I will extend my sincere gratitude to DSP Sir for affording me this rare opportunity to stand before you and give you the word of thanks. Thank you all for attending today's closing ceremony. I want to congratulate everyone who participated in this training course and know the success of this important achievement. This occasion marks another advance or a destructive relationship between the Gambia and the Turkey government. In the glorious day, a journey of thousand miles begins with one step. Of course, three months ago, we weren't thinking of this honorable day. Rather, we will be like how will tomorrow be like. Today here we are. Despite the difficult challenges and hurdles faced during the training, we are able to reach this auspicious occasion. Furthermore, I would like to extend my special thanks to the former Inspector General of Police for coming up to, the, to an agreement with the Tokyo ceremony under the banner of the OIC, and it is indeed commendable. This occasion could not come at a better time. We are cognizant of the fact that the Gambia will be hosting one of the most important conferences of the globe in May. Moreover, thanks to the Commissioner of the Gambia Police Intervention Unit for supporting and standing by the just concluded VIP protection and special operation in urban areas training offered by the Turkish Zendermund. It is clear that you always want to get your men ready in assignment according uh, made in any assignment according to them under any circumstances. You are absolutely a tremendous leader to us and the next generation. I will do justice if I do not acknowledge Superintendent Babu Jan and DSP Sar for their tireless effort and relentlessness to see this training a success. We are indeed obliged. Today, my colleagues who participated in the training, it wasn't an easy job. But we are able to battle it out to this day. We were committed, dedicated, and serious for that training. 
Most importantly, we inspire and motivate one another to this day. All we do was a teamwork. We participated with resilience. And I can assure everyone, everybody, that we are equipped to serve our people with due diligence. The courage that we saw during this session according to us, the conviction, even if we are assigned to work on hellfire, it is indisputable that we will execute our assignment accurately that is expected to the expectation. And we are ready to deliver beyond our limits. Fellow colleagues, who took part in the training, I want to remind us that this is not the ending what the beginning. The beginning, in a sense, that we are under obligation to also train our colleagues who were not privileged to take part in the training. Not only to teach them, but also to apply what we have learned from the training on operation. Finally, to the toughest instructors. Your hard work, patience, and commitment are worth to be praised. Be, be assured that you are the cream of the crop. We will to the protection and safety of lives and properties of our people. The Gambia is now facing foreign crimes. What we, with, what we don't train, we will be able to tackle whatsoever comes in our way. Your principles and values of prospective police officers that we learn is inculcated in us and will be in our daily routines. Your interaction are unpresent, unpresented. Your actions are unprecedented. And I assure you, we will deliver beyond expectation. And how I wish every single police security officer all over the country get this rare opportunity. We are ready for any circumstance physically, mentally, emotionally. I salute your courage and commitment instilled in us for making differences in our country. On that note, fellow participants, I would like us to have a standing ovation for these wonderful instructors from the Turkish Zenon. Thank you very much for a very wonderful vote of thanks. The sense of confidence demonstrated by the lead um, trainee that we are ready, both for physically and mentally, and that we will be on the limits. Kirekjaro has actually demonstrated on behalf of all trainees, the confidence that has been demonstrated here, if that confidence is maintained, if that confidence is nurtured, if that confidence is carried along all operations, like you said, we are sure and certain that you will go beyond all limits in the maintenance of peace and security of our motherland. The Gambia. I am proud of you. On that note, I want to, I want us to give ourselves a round of applause. Again. Thank, you. Thank you very much. I, I think I'm just overjoyed. But again, I will just allow the, the, the program to proceed. And at this juncture, I want to invite um, the Deputy Inspector General of Police, Momo to make a statement. Deputy General.
I will not walk into a special forces barracks and look like a chicken. <laughs> Coming from a special forces background, my friend, what I am seeing here, I don't like it. Morals? Hey! Morals? Hey! How? Hey! How? Hey! I disagree. <laughs> On your feet. <laughs> Morals? Hey! How high? Hey! Morals? Hey! How high? Hey! Thank you. You see that? Good morning, Your Excellency, the Tukai Ambassador to the Gambia, Mr. Tukai Baba, the representative of uh, the Chief Executive Officer of the Organization of the Islamic Conference, Assistant Inspector General of Police, here present, our dear host, Commissioner Basangi, Senior police officers, senior security chiefs, commandant of the National Republican Guard, here present, representing the chief of defense staff, representatives of other sister services here present, invited guests, training participants, trainers from Tukai. Members of society, we are present. All invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, you are all welcome to this continuous gathering at the PAU barracks this morning. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome everybody who has left, including the members of the Fourth Estate, I thank you. Wherever we go, I see you also want to go. But I think I will write to the respective departments or institutions so that you are included in our next training sessions. Because I can realize that you also. The only reason to that so that all of us here will be speaking the same language. Because I can see when I rise again, some of you are a little edgy. Anyway, that's who we are. I thank you enormously for covering this garden this morning. Having said that, I also take this opportunity to come here today to join you on this auspicious ceremony, which is the closing ceremony of the Space Life Operations and Urban. VIP protection operations, which is significant to what we are envisaging to see in our very own motherland, and which is the International Islamic Conference, which is the second biggest international conference in the world after the United Nations General Assembly. If all of you might be aware. This is the organization of the Islamic Ummah across the globe, meaning that it is a daunting task, particularly when it comes to security. So in that, it is, an, it is important to put our whole, whole house in order before we will proceed. Because in our own world, different from the ordinary world, because as men and women in the services, we live in a different world from our own people because we make things move. That is why when we fail, society fails. Because our utmost responsibility is to oversee the continuation of society, meaning that we are in a different level altogether with the rest of the population. So being the case, 
Everything is expected of course, and this is why we are easily pit for criticisms when we fail to do what is required of us. And fundamentally, it is required as an onus of us to ensure that we do the needful. Before I proceed, I would like to thank the organizing team, trainers, partners, participants for your commitment and dedication to the training program. Having said that, allow me to give you a brief background of some of these tasks between the Pakistan and the Nuri and the Gambia Police Force. It is interesting to note one of the speakers has stood here to identify the link between Gambia and Turkey from a very far angle, indicating the existence of this relationship from time immemorial. And I think General Downey here and few other officers here uh, to address we have a witness on that. Uh, Commissioner Jabate, Commissioner Balayo, and the rest could be a witness to that. Uh, this is not the first time the Turkish Zandaburi has been in the Gambia. I myself as an example to that, that this has been a long point. That Turkai is one of the most valued partners to the Gambia and one of its most strategic partners, dating back years ago. Probably most of you here will not remember those days during the First Republic when Gambia used to have a Zandarmori of its own, different from the police and different from GAF. GAF is a nucleus. GAF comes from that very Zandarmori because the people that were forced recruited and taken are taken from the second part of the Gambia Zandarmori to form the nucleus of GAF. So it's a long story. And all that is triggered by the Turkish London men who were here at the time. Uh, most of us benefited this very thing that we have done. That is why I said, coming from the Special Forces background, I would not walk into a for Special Forces barracks and just feel like a lady who is going to shopping. I have to be a man, and all of you, even those that are here, will have to look like that. So that is just a synod of the history between Turkey and Gambia. And Mr. Ambassador, I'm pleading to you that this, and with the order here, that this training session, I know the Turkish Zandar Mori is one of the elite Zandar Mori components across the globe. Because yes, if you look at the word Zandarmori, it's a French word. But if you go deeply into it, you separate the two. Jean means an individual. Dan means the arm. That is an individual who has an arm. Because they are a paramilitary organization. They are non-police, non-military organization. Meaning they have the functions of both the military and the police. They are trained as soldiers and trained as police officers at the same time. So this is why they are giving us standard money. The personnel with an arm. And they do both military and police. So let that be very clear. So this is how that nucleus was formed within Turkai and the Gambia way back in the early 1990s. So it is a long term. So it is not a coincidence that the former Inspector General of Police, through retired Major Karaguma, who was one of the nucleus of the first Turkish Zandarmori training team that came to the Gambia, decided to ignite that long bomb and long for lost found friendship. And as a result of that, it yield this dividends today. So having said that, at some stage, 
he has to travel to Turkey to ensure that the needful is done until here we are today. And we look forward for many of these to come because the Turkish Zandarmori is an elite force that has various capacities in terms of man, material, and sophistications. So I hope if we put that board together, the Gambia police force will tend to benefit. Because the GAF, they will not tell you the story, but they know. I don't need to go into that. The GAF is very much benefiting, because like the other speaker said, when the Zandarmori was disbanded, the training was shifted to GAF and they have benefited. This is why GAF today is one of the record professional armies within our sub -media. And all that is due to the... <laughs> Thank you very much. Having said that, after the visit of the former Inspector General of Police, the Tokyo Standard Commander decided to send a team of observation. They came and they were very impressed and they did what is here in close today. And during that process, during the train, 181 participants have successfully completed the legal training models delivered by Force Lieutenant Akan Peter and his team. Congratulations. <laughs> Out of this 181, 170 are police intervention units, six from the state intelligence service, and five from the Gambia Armed Forces. Meaning, this is what we call S3 the call. We are all service men and women in different capacities. But we have a single objective that all of us which is to render this moral land safe and continue to transgress from one generation to the next. Where the norms and values of this very moral land is passed from either generations that comes so that the country prosper and continue in prosperity. This is why we are all in this different attire. Different TOR, but at the end of the day, it's like a football team. There are players who kick the ball with their head, others kick the ball with their chest, others with their knees, others with their feet. But the ultimate objective is to put that ball behind the neck. So it's the same objective. Regardless of which service you serve, your objectives are all the same. Participants were selected from across. And that was what is important. Uh, today marks the end of that training. And I do hope your colleagues, I understand the training also has a component of DOT, that is a step down trainers. You continue doing that so that before we offer in this very August gathering that we are expecting, we are up to our task. That is what is most important. Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed my honor and pleasure and representing the Inspector General of Police in this podium here that we are for profound and very much appreciative for the efforts of our partners, that is the Turkish. We thank them to the bottom of our heart on behalf of the Gambian population, the Gambian government and everybody for this wonderful collaboration and this wonderful uh, gesture that have taken to ensure that we prepared ourselves because as service men and women as long as we are doing the job training continues I hate to stand here and give you long speeches in order not to bother you but what is most important because I don't want to repeat what Commissioner Basari uh, has already stipulated all the rules and all the procedures that have been applied as far as the training as is mentioned by, by him and other speakers too. But what is most important is those that are with train, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are the best out of the best, but you have just been opportunity to be picked or to be selected. 
do pass your skills to the colleagues who are unfortunate to be here. But those that are trained also to be the TOT. And so we will start running your program today so that Aluta continues. The struggle continues to ensure that we have a better and we might not be perfect, but we can be better in what we are doing. I will say that, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, invited guests, old protocols do the observe. In conclusion, I want to thank the Turkish ambassador, the Turkish trainers, the participants, the facilitators, the press, and everyone who is able to make this day today so beautiful, so colorful, and so exciting. I thank all of you. Assalamu alaikum.